one link that everybody keeps sending me, and of course I knew about it before anybody else started sending me the link to it, was a uh, article that was posted and then removed, and a lot of people assumed that was like conspiracy scandal. Actually, I think that's true. I think Sony actually forced the guy to remove the article, um, where uh, Sony was talking about keeping a hold of their sensor technology. Uh, a lot of people are reporting what the article does not say. It does not say that Sony is going to keep um, their newest sensor technology solely for themselves. It specifically states that their newest technology they will reserve, and that's up for debate, for themselves exclusively for, say, a one-year period. So it does not say that Sony is going to make a very, very special sensor for themselves that will be magical and like no one else is going to have at it. Point number two, Nikon and others have three sources for sensor technology. Nobody is slave to Sony. Admittedly, Sony has dumped literally well over a billion more than that in uh, taking their advanced sensor technology systems and even bringing them up to the next level. There's no denying that. They are sensor suppliers to Fuji, to Nikon, and obviously so to themselves. Point number five. That is all that Sony has. Sony is not a camera company. They're a consumer electronics company. The only thing that Sony has is their sensor. That's all they have. There's nothing special about their cameras. They don't make lenses. The only thing Sony has, as so far as under their roof, that uh, other people want or are in competition against are their sensors. That's their sole playing card. That's all they have. Nikon can go other places for sensors. They want the best, and Sony has invested the money, the countless, countless hundreds of millions of dollars into their sensor tech. The specific sensor tech that Sony is talking about is the new RGBW sensor with the white trans photo site which will require special de demosaicing um, raw firmware to interpolate those images, but nevertheless, it has about 30% better dynamic range in crazy-ass low-light situations. RGBW sensor, red, green, blue, and the W, the trans photosite, the white photosite. That is technology, by the way, invented by Canon, not Canon shit, <laughs> Kodak, excuse me. Kodak in 2007, perfected by Sony. Those sensors are already being generated right now. That is going to be the basis of the A7R3, or whatever they're going to call it, and that will be the sensor technology uh, for Nikon's new flagship camera, presumably. But completely in Sony's defense, since they are not a camera company, and the only thing that they actually have is their sensor, it is very reasonable for them having invested, you know, they're selling the sensors, you know. There's no issue with Sony being the leader in sensor technology. However, a camera is not a sensor. It is an image processor. This is the same reason why the Nikon D750 blows the hell out of the Nikon D600 in uh, low light, high ISO. They're the exact same sensor. Because the camera is not a damn sensor, it's an image processor. AD converters, SNR firmware, signal interpretation. The algorithms of ISO. ISO is not part of the exposure triangle. ISO is input gain. ISO is not part of the exposure triangle. The algorithms and the chipset very proprietary to every company. That's as important as the sensor is. So, all of those that are reporting that Sony is going to keep their sensor technology, their best sensor technology, that's not even in the, in the interview. So where people are gathering that from is absolutely nonsensical. They stated that they would hold on to that for a year or so. That give themselves an advantage. And in their defense, it is wise for them to take that advantage because that is the only advantage that they have. They have no glass. 
There's nothing special at all about their camera, quite the opposite, in fact. It's their sensor, and that's it. So, I'm jumping to Sony's defense here. That's reasonable, because that's their only playing card. And if that's your only playing card, you don't play it. So Sony is right to state that. However, apparently, that was kind of letting the cat out of the bag. I don't know who forced the guy that did the interview to remove that article, but it was removed. But not before everybody else in the world screenshotted it. <laughs> screenshotted it? Did a screenshot of it. Yeah, right, there we go. That's the lowdown on that. Thank you so much for watching. Lux Iberitas.